So let's move on to the Mage Tower. What is the Mage Tower? So it is a tower for mages. All right, that's it. Thank you all very much for listening. Uh, so pretty much the Mage Tower was introduced in Legion. I think it was 9.2 it was introduced. Yeah, patch, no, not 9.2, 7.2, patch 7.2. It was introduced with the Broken Shore, and it was one of three buildings that you could help construct by using uh, a certain currency on the Broken Shore. And what this uh, Mage Tower was effectively was the end of a quest chain for your specific specialization. So we'll get to the challenges and stuff like that later and what challenges were with each specialization. But you would do a long quest chain and this would be an individual effort and you would be thrown into a scenario, one of seven I believe. And these were some really tough solo content uh, challenges. This is when you had your artifact power. This is when you had your artifacts really high. You had multiple legendaries as well and stuff like that. And these were still really tough with the legendaries. Now, with the Mage Tower in Legion Time Walking, you do not have this luxury. All, what is it, borrowed power is uh, taken away from you. So this includes your covenants. Uh, abilities this includes any sort of legendary set bonuses stuff like that so absolutely everything is off limits so you've got shadowlands legendary gear shard of domination uh, azeroth uh, azerite effects legion legendaries warlord adrenal ring legendaries mr pandaria legendaries tier sets and more it's it's something i will say that